on practice problems on process capability. So the first question is, for an overhead projector, the thickness of a component is specified to be between 30 and 40 millimeters. So that means my lower specification limit is equal to 30 and my upper specification limit is equal to 40. It says 30 samples of components yield a grand mean X of 34 millimeters. So X double bar, which is my grand average or grand mean, is equal to 34 millimeters. So the unit for specification limits are also in millimeters. Okay, and it says the standard deviation is 3.5. That's also in millimeters. It says calculate the process capability index. So one of the questions that I always get, whether you should be using CP, which is the process capability, or CPK, which is the process capability index. When we gave the difference, when we provided the difference between those two, we mentioned that CPK gives a better picture. So it means you can use CPK for any given cases, whether your process distribution mean is equal to your design specification mean or not. Okay, so CP or CPK, CPK is applicable to all given cases or all given problems so use cpk for all your problems but when the distribution when your process distribution mean is equal to the design specification nominal value or the mean then you can also use cp2 but if you don't want to confuse those two terms you can always use cpk and call it a day Okay, so let's use CPK to solve this problem. The first step is we want to find the upper and lower limits, upper and lower capability limits. Your CP is equal to your, I'm sorry, not your CP, I meant to write CPU, your upper control limit is equal to upper specification limit minus mean divided by 3 sigma and your lower capability is your mean minus lower specification limit divided by 3 sigma and we know that our capability which is CPK is equal to minimum of your CPU or CPL, okay? So whatever the minimum between CPU and CPL, that's the number for your CPK. That's the process capability figure that you would like to calculate. Okay, so upper specification limit is equal to 40 minus our mean is 34 divided by 3 times our sigma is 3.5. So upper specification limit turns out to be, or the upper specification for process capability uh, turns out to be 0.57. Uh, here our mean is equal to 34. And our lower specification limit is 30 divided by 3 times 3 times 3.5. And our specification limit for the lower portion is going to be equal to 0.38. So we just mentioned that if we take the minimum of those two numbers, that's going to be our CPK. So which one is less? 0.38 is less, so our CPK is equal to 0.38.
Okay, since CPK is less than one, process capability is not at the desired level or is not acceptable or is not good, okay? So if it is less than one, we don't like the process capability, but if it is more than one, we put a check mark and we say, yes, the process may be capable, okay? So that was the first problem. The second problem, is going to be a little bit different than the first one. It says a process is in statistical control with with x double bar. Uh, x double bar is, uh, if you can recall, if if it's it's the it's the grand average is equal to thirty nine point seven. So x double bar is equal to thirty nine point seven. Uh, it says the sample size is two. Okay. And the specifications are 40 plus minus 5. That means your upper specification limit is 40 plus 5. And lo your lower specification limit is 40 minus 5. So upper specification limit is equal to 45. Your lower specification is equal to 35. Okay, so if you compare this problem with the previous one, I don't see a standard deviation here. So if the standard deviation is not given to you, um, you can calculate it from the range. So your sigma hat x, which will be your standard deviation, is going to be equal to r over d subscript 2. OK. Uh, is R given? No, R is not given. So R should should have been given in advance. Uh, R bar is equal to, let's say that R bar is equal to 2.5. Again, this should have been given in the problem. That's my mistake. I forgot to put that, put that number in our problem. But again, R bar should be given to you without, without providing R bar or without providing the standard deviation itself, you cannot calculate the process capability. But let's let's assume that we know what R bar is. So R bar is 2.5. And your D subscript 2, if you if you look up the value on your constant table, is going to be um 1.128. Mm -hmm. And your sample size was 2. Again, just look at whenever the sample size is equal to 2. And look up that value on your table. And D subscript 2 should be equal to 1.128. So your sigma is estimated to be 2.216. Okay. Okay, so it looks like, let me just rewrite it, it's 2.216. So it looks like we have all the information that we need to solve this problem because we know what upper specification limit is, we know what lower specification limit is, and we just calculated our sigma x or the sigma hat, okay, which is our standard deviation. Again, the way that we calculated standard deviation is different on this problem. Here, the standard deviation was not given, but R bar was given to us, and we know how to pull the subscript 2 from our constant table for the control charts based on the sample size of 2, which was equal to 1.128, so your sigma is equal to 2.216. Okay, so let's calculate our CPL first. Our CPL is equal to your upper specification limit. So your upper specification limit is, uh, upper specification limit is 45. I was looking for it and it's given right here. And your mean, your mean is 39.7. And divide it by three times. And do we know what, what sigma is? Yes, we do. It's 2.216. So if you make this calculation, your CPL is going to be equal to 0.71.
Okay, so we need to calculate CPU too. Okay, I'm sorry, this is CPU, this is CPL. Okay, and your CPL is going to be equal to mean minus lower specification limit. So mean is 39.7 minus 35 and divided by 3 times 2.216. And if you make the calculation, uh, your specification, your process capability, your, your lower process capability is going to be equal to 0 0.8. And your CPK is the minimum between those two, right? Your, your, so your CPK is going to be 0 0.71. So since 0.71 is less than 1, we say that the process is not capable.